The WordPress media library is a repository that shows all of the media files you upload to your website. You can access your media library from your dashboard by selecting media library. This section of your dashboard enables you to search through the media files that you've uploaded. You can also sort the contents based on their file types and upload dates. Clicking on add new at the top of the screen will let you upload new media files from your computer. If you click on any file, a new window will open where you can see all of its details. This includes its upload date, who uploaded it, the file's name, type, size, and dimensions. An option to edit the image as well as the image's metadata. If you click on the edit image button, you'll get access to a set of basic options for altering image files. For example, you could rotate the image, flip it, and crop it with a drag and drop tool. You could scale the image by entering the dimensions manually, crop the image manually by entering exact dimensions or an aspect ratio, and decide whether you want to apply your changes to all images or only some of them. If you exit the editor and return to the main attachment details screen, you'll be able to edit some of the file's metadata, including alternative text, the title, caption, and description. Here's a full breakdown of all the media file types that WordPress allows. When it comes to images, you can also do SVG, which we covered in a video a while back. Here's a look at all of the documents. This is all of the audio options. And finally, here are all of the different video file types supported. Let's go over three key tips for WordPress media management. Number one, add descriptive titles and alt text to every media file. This can have a positive impact on your website's SEO. Number two, optimize images before uploading them. High resolution images look fantastic, but they can also slow down your website due to their file sizes. You can use a third party service to compress them, or you can install an image optimization plugin. And finally, number three, use plugins to extend the WordPress media library's functionality. Potential aspects you can extend using plugins include automatic resizing functionality, a taxonomy system, and the option to rename media files in bulk. We put together a list of plugins that include all of those features and more in our article about how to supercharge your WordPress media library. You can find a link to that in the description. And there you go. That's all you need to know about the WordPress media library. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.